Hello everybody. Hope you're having a great Sunday. I'm very excited. I had the strength and energy to do my hair and put makeup on and feel good. And um, I love fashion. I love dressing up. But um, lately I haven't had the energy to do those things. And so today is a, is a good day. Remember, it's always one day at a time. So what I want to talk about is uh, procrastination. When you have bipolar, you may have periods of depression um, where you just cannot seem to motivate yourself to get up. Now, I've had depression where I have been so sick that I've been, um, I've been throwing up. And the doctors told me that sometimes you can have severe symptoms. But the type of depression I'm talking about is just feeling lethargy, lethargic. But you want to accomplish something because, trust me, if you do something, it will make you feel good. And it might be the thing that makes you feel more positive and so you can working with your medicine and your counseling and all the things that you're doing, you might start to see the brighter side. Um, so, say for example, I haven't cleaned my closet in five years. And you need to make a plan because you will just not do it. And all you have to do when you want to do something is start. Just start. If you look at my videos, I don't have some fancy music and I don't have some super cool, you know, channel. It's just me in my office hanging out with you. I figure that other stuff may come, but I was just going to get started. So... Just start, and so then make a list. So clean the closet. Well, take, step one might be, take everything out of the closet. Then go through the things in the closet that were in the closet and figure out what you don't need, that, and those are gonna go in the donation pile. And then write on your list, organize, you know, like I, I organize my clothes according to color because when you're bipolar, it's tiring to think about sometimes like getting, what am I going to wear today? And I like ready-made outfits that I know I look good in and I, can, I, I don't have to think about it. I just grab it. So maybe you want to put all your pants, all your shirt, black shirts, all your black pants, your sweaters, you know, and, and organize it. So... That's the next thing on the list. And when you accomplish the closet, imagine what a huge accomplishment that is. Because if that's been something bugging you for five years and you do it, hey, like high five. And then, you know, the next day you can add something else. But accomplish something today. Something. So... I just wanted to say hi, happy Sunday, and to show you that, you know, some days you'll have the energy to put on makeup and do your hair, or guys, you know, um, give yourself a shave or comb your beard all pretty, <laughs> and other days you won't, and I'll say it again. One day at a time. That's all we have to do is one day at a time. And if you keep doing it one day at a time, one day adds up to 365 days of a whole year of a whole lot of things that you will accomplish if you just start. Make a plan. Write it down. I like to cross it out in, with a line that I did that one step because it makes me feel so good. It's gratifying. So I'm Stephanie Brown, 
and if you're new to my channel please subscribe hit the bell if you're here because you're just you're scared you know you don't know what's going on and this diagnosis of bipolar is new to you well welcome and you don't have to type anything or do anything as long as this is helping you that makes me happy so we'll see you tomorrow and keep on keeping on bye